Good morning, welcome to the ADS Securities Markets Update. Beginning with the Asian session, as always, there were three economy figures that were released from New Zealand, Australia, and Japan, which had a slight impact. Beginning with New Zealand, the trade balance deficit unexpectedly narrowed to 472 million in August, comparing to a deficit of seven, seven, 724 million in July, while the estimates were to, or to rise toward 1 1.125 billion. However, this is the second monthly deficit in a row, and the exports added a 3.52 billion comparing to 3.69 billion, while the imports increased by 4 billion comparing to 4.41 billion during the same period. In Australia, the CB leading index also came came in higher by or rising by 0.5% in July comparing to a rise of 0.2% in June, and this is the third monthly increase in a row and the biggest monthly increase since February. Finally, in Japan, the manufacturing PMI came in with a disappointment, declining to 51.7 in September down from 52.2 in August, while the estimates were to rise by or to rise toward 52.5 and this is the lowest trading in two months. The Aussie and Kiwi continued with their decline since the beginning of the week. The fundamentals are unable to give any solid support for the time being. The Aussie breakthrough or breaks through uh, 0.8860 support area, which clears the way for a further and declines ahead. While the Kiwi is testing the fe is testing February support area, which stand at 0.8052, which which should be watched watched very closely. A breakthrough that support may open the ways or may open the way for further declines toward or below. 0.80. As for the European uh, session today, we will be focusing on one economic release from Germany. However, it's likely to have a notable impact on the markets. The estimates are not very optimistic today due to the significant decline in ZEW economic sentiment, which has been released last week. The IFO business climate may decline for the fifth month in a row toward 105.9 in September, down from 106.3 in August, which would be the lowest reading since June of last year. Moreover, the expectation index is expected to decline to 101.2 uh, uh, down from 101.7, which would be the fifth monthly in decline in a row and the lowest rate is since May of last year. And finally, the current assessment index is expected to decline to 110.2 down from 111.1, which would be the fourth monthly decline in a row and the lowest rating since July of last year. The euro managed to advance slightly during yesterday's trading, reaching as high as 1 spot 2901 or 01. However, the pair failed to, to stabilize and uh, for to stabilize and and uh, sold off again to a new session lows to 1.2841 while it fell toward 1.2840 during the Asian session. Meanwhile, today's IFO, uh, IFO figure is likely to come in weaker than expected following the significant decline in ZEW as the ZEW report usually leads the IFO figures. Therefore, the euro may dip below 1.28 if the numbers came in weaker than expected while a breakthrough 1.28 may open the way to further declines toward the next support area which stand at 1 point or 1 spot 27. 65. This, uh, or uh, there is only, uh, as for the U.S. session uh, today, there is only one economic figure will be released from for the housing sector. The new home sales is expected to rise toward 432,000 in August, comparing to 412,000 in July. However, the actual figure may came in or may come in uh, with a disappointment figures following the disappointments from the housing start, existing home sales, and building permits that were released during last week trading. This is it for today. You can follow us on our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to get the latest economic releases, reports, and analysis. Thank you for watching.